Okay, so good morning everyone. Now we will um, discuss our report on our bone plating procedure. And this is group three. For the introduction, bone plating is one of the most effective methods of fixing a fracture. And this procedure is perfect for animals that are extremely active because um, after the procedure, the animal can um, cannot walk properly, but the the fracture is secure, so they um they can move more than when the procedure is bone pinning. So that's it. And for our indications, we have fracture stabilize, stabilization. And this procedure is done to treat animals with high, medium, and low fracture assessment scores. For the anatomy of the femur, which is our specimen, we have um, the greater trochanter, which is um, here on the upper part, and the lesser trochanter is supposed to be on the upper part also, but um, just on the other side and lower, and then we have the body of the femur. So next we go to our operative clinic. So the first thing that we did is um, we have to bend the screw plate depending on the angle of the bone specimen, and it should fit just perfect on the bone surface so this is done to make sure that the bone won't move after the procedure and so actually the fracture that we have on our bone specimen was an oblique fracture just like the bone in the middle here letter b so that's how it looks and then and then for the sound part, we got a drill and made about um, 1 to 2 millimeter diameter holes about 10 to 15 millimeters apart. And we need to make sure that the screw fit perfectly on the holes. Um, especially when you put it, you need to make it secure so the bone won't move. And then we inserted the screws on the holes using the screwdriver with the screw plate sandwich between the bone surface and the screw head. And this was us during the procedure. So for the post-operative preparation, if this was a live animal, um, analgis analgesia is provided after the surgery and um, activity needs to be re restricted so um, the animal can only go on a few exercises probably only during the time when he needs to pee or poop um, but not like a fun play or something like that and the animal also needs to go on a rehab or physical rehabilitation to control the broken limb and radiographs of the fracture are taken to document and assess the repair so what are the complications that can arise after a bone plating procedure the first that we have here is delayed union so there could be delayed union on the bones. They might um, heal longer than the expected time or there could also be no union at all. And then we have malunion. So um, during this one, the bones are, uh, there is union in the bones but not on the um, correct position or area. And then there could also be infection of the surgical site, especially because 
on this procedure um, takes a long time. The surgical site on this procedure takes a long time to heal, especially because it involves the bones.